Hello, I'm Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. This critical incident briefing concerns a deputy-involved shooting in the city of Rancho Mirage on July 9th, 2019. When we have a critical incident, we want to share as much information as possible with the public. On Tuesday, July 9th, 2019, at 7.23 p.m., Sheriff's Dispatch received a 911 call about a man dressed in military clothing near the intersection of Bob Hope Drive and Ramon Road in the city of Rancho Mirage. Let's begin with the 911 call. 911, state your emergency. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, at the uh, corner of Bob Hope and Ramon Road, mm -hmm. at the uh, bus stop right there, right next to the casino, it's actually on the Ramon Road side. There's a gentleman wearing a military fatigue, a tan in color, uh, with a tan shirt and like a uh, bonnie hat. It's all he's all camoed out, but he's hold got about an eight, eight inch, nine inch butcher knife. Okay, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold on. You said this is at Bob Hope and Ramon. Is this in Rancho Mirage or Thousand Palms? Uh, it's on the well, it's right at the corner of the uh, casino. Okay, so is he waving it around or brandishing at anybody? Yeah, no, no, there's nobody there. He's waving it around. He's like, uh, like he's stabbing an invisible person. Several deputies from the Palm Desert Station responded. The first deputy arrived at 7:29 p.m. and began searching the area. Minutes later, deputies located the suspect in possession of a knife at the bus stop at Bob Hope Drive and Ramon Road. The deputies gave multiple verbal commands for the suspect to drop the knife and use less than lethal weapons in an attempt to gain compliance from the armed suspect. The less than lethal weapons were ineffective. As deputies tried to convince the suspect to drop the knife and surrender, the suspect raised the knife and advanced toward a deputy resulting in a deputy involved shooting. As a warning, some viewers may find this video disturbing and it is not suitable for children. Drop it! Drop, Drop the it. knife! You're going to get shot! Tase it. Tase him? Tase. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Fucking drop it! Location 11. Drop it! Boy, subjects uncooperative, walking away with the knife in his hand. Get the fuck on the ground! Get the fuck on the ground! Drop it! Drop the fucking knife! Get the fuck on the ground! Drop the knife! Drop it! 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 Drop the fucking knife! Hit it, hit it, hit it! Oh, hold on. Pepper ball! Nope. Drop the fucking knife! Pepper ball is nice. Drop the fucking knife! Drop it! Drop the knife! Pepper ball is Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the fucking knife! Drop the fucking knife! It's not working. Ocean 11, pepper balls. Uh, not working. Can we get a unit with a proper working dash pepper ball if we got it? Drop the fucking knife! Keep get driving! Fuck Keep the driving! Get the Keep fuck driving! Hey, drop the fucking knife! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Here is a slow motion replay highlighting the suspect in possession of the knife as he advanced toward the deputy. The suspect knife was recovered at the scene. Several responding deputies provided immediate medical aid to the suspect until CAL FIRE and AMR paramedics arrived. The suspect, later identified as Jason Allen Harris, a 35-year-old male, was transported to a local hospital and died as a result of his injuries. When we have a deputy-involved shooting, multiple investigations are automatically launched. In this incident, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department will handle the investigation of the original call Mr. Harris's actions, and the deputy-involved shooting. This incident, as are all deputy-involved shootings, will ultimately be reviewed by the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. 
Additionally, our department will internally review and evaluate the actions of our deputies with our policy and training standards. We take the use of force very seriously and make every effort to de-escalate these situations whenever possible. Thank you for watching.